in some surveys the data that we get are uh, discrete values. Uh, for example, in the example with the TV ratings, uh, viewers were restricted to five ratings. So they could only select the E, A, V, B, or P. In other cases, uh, a continuous range of values is possible for our data set. So for example, if we're doing a survey of people's weights, then we're going to get a, a continuous range of values. Okay, if we have a continuous data set, then the bar graph that we get from that uh, data set is known as a histogram. You remember on the uh, the bar graph that we looked at for the TV ratings, we have the, uh, the bars representing the frequency of the various responses and we have a, a space between each of the bars. That's typical for bar graphs for discrete data sets. For histograms though, we do not have bars, we do not have spaces between the bars. Okay, so what I want to tell you about now is how to use your graphing calculator to generate a histogram. Okay, so uh, I'm going to be using a TI-83. Uh, if you have a TI-84 or similar TI calculator, it would be very similar. If you have a different graphing calculator, such as a Casio, then you would need to consult your manual on how to use the statistics feature of your calculator. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is to access your stat feature. Okay, so here's my TI-83 and you notice the stat button right here. Okay, so of course I need to turn my calculator on. Then I'm going to press the stat button. And we get this screen here. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to edit the data set. So I press enter. And then you see this screen here with the uh, several columns of, uh, for data sets. You may, may already have some data there in L1. And if you do, you probably need to clear it out. The way to do that is to press clear and then enter. Okay, so arrow up to the top of the column, L1, okay, and then press clear. Notice it says L1 equals at the bottom of the data set. Press clear, that data set disappears, and then press enter, and then the numbers in the column disappear also. Okay, so now we're ready to enter our data set. Okay, so as an example, we're going to generate a histogram for those test scores that we looked at in example two. Okay, so I need to enter 79, 62, 87, and so on in my calculator. Okay, so just press 79, enter, and then 62, enter, and then 87, enter, okay, and then you get this list. And 
I'm going to have to enter all this data set before we can continue. So we'll stop right here and then I'll pick up uh, after I've entered my data set.